Hello, my good people. Good morning to you all. Oh. And uh, <laughs> this one is another broadcast of today. As I promised earlier today, that is going to be fire for fire. Just be ready, watch, share, subscribe, like, and also comment. My own duty, I must fulfill. Because I promised and I must surely deliver. I'm not like a Nigerian government who keep promising without nothing to show for it. I, Okute, promises and I do what I said. Well, this one is another day and another uh, news where they come from the office of Mazin Namdekano, right from the DSS uh, dungeon or DSS solitary confinement. Namdekano applauds and send a congratulatory message to all the rep members and uh, other individuals who have been calling for his release. This one is a, is a congratulatory message and also to applaud them on what they are doing and how they have been fighting in tooth and nail to make sure that uh, they set him free from where he has been held uh, captive or where he has been held uh, illegally in the DSS uh, solitary confinement. So my good people, I beg you to help me do, do me one favor, help me share this message so that because not everybody uh, goes out there to read, news, to read a newspaper or go to the newspaper stand to read. So sharing this message, at least it will make them to know that uh, whoever that uh, they are fighting for is also showing, uh, showing them a congratulatory. I mean, it's also congratulating them. It's also making them to know that he never forgetting them. It's also making them to know that him, Mazin Namdekano, appreciate from the depth of his heart for whatever things they have been doing uh, to help him out of uh, where he has been uh, uh, incarcerated. So, make on hear the headline and the way the thing take be. As you they hear, make sure say you subscribe, like, share, and also comment. Nam Dekane applauds rep members for pushing for his freedom. This one is the anchor headline of this broadcast. According to the the news agency of Nigeria, they have vowed or say they must protest because it is embarrassing that the so-called DSS have become propaganda arm of Fulani government. NSCDC don't arrest five people where they divert and authorizing federal government's intervention fertilizers, that is uh, the so-called uh, palliatives uh, for the poor. Whether people are begin, go, go begin to eat fertilizer, I don't know. They have shared 5, 5 billion naira to all the host states. Till today, the hardship is still increasing day by day. They just uh, indirectly uh, 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 fill the pocket of the so-called uh, governors who helped him or who helped uh, the Fulani government to rig the election because almost all the whole governors, uh, okay, let's say almost all the whole APC governors contributed to it. When uh, we had that uh, 22.5 billion naira being stacked in one uh, northern country, the FCC does not do anything. The ICPC, including the conduct the bureau and also the, the, the so-called DSS, didn't do anything because not them them. Tragedy, you don't stroke out in Bayesa State. A hunter don't kill by daughters by himself with himself and also all by himself. Kill himself. What a tragedy. Our protest against Jonathan's subsidy removal in 2012 was politics, according to Fayemi on a Yaram. Now the same people will say that nothing like a fair subsidy protesting, including this uh, so-called APC president. Now all of them now got out applauding him. So now we have come out now. After how many years? After 13 good years or along the line, because 2012, okay, let's say after 11 years, 2012, now you come out now to, 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 to confess. And you are not ashamed of yourself. And you tell me the gods of the land will forgive you and those people involved. You see you, uh, fire me, uh, I'm a Turumbu, uh, Opolo, uh, Femi, Femi kill to be, and uh, this uh, Bakare, all of one, Ogu, guy go kill all of all of you, because because 2012, good luck, Jonathan make every uh, available means to help the poor, to to help cushion the effect of the subsidy removal, but you people said no. It is a policy. Okay, now you let us know it's a politics, but then he said nothing like that. That you lock is uh, trying to sabotage uh, the entire country. But now 
the so-called uh, monkey went and uh, now the first first hospital removal, which has no cushion. It's after hundred days in office that I see hearing uh, we are going to cushion the effect of first first hospital removal. Nonsense and useless set of people, because it didn't come from your offices. Anyway, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, I beg, make on hear this message you as the team take be. The detained leader of the digital people of Biafra, Ipo Mazinam Dekano, has applauded the House of Representatives for pushing for his uh, freedom. According to the news we have here, uh, recalls that the House of Representatives had uh, recommended uh, Kano's freedom to the President Bola Tunumbu led Nigeria government uh, to bring peace to the southeastern region of the country. The call was made by the Chairman of the Representatives of House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee that set up to interfere with the relevant security agencies to reduce kidnapping, assassinations, and banditry in and around the Isi, Ukwato, and Umunochi local government area of Abia State in the southeast region of Nigeria, Obinna Agocha. At a meeting in Abuja, Agocha was reported to have said that absolute peace, reduction of crime and criminality, investment in, in meaningful infrastructural development, ending the unproductive sit at home and, um, and uh, improvement of economic growth and opportunities in the Southeast starts with the government's recognition of the rule of law, justice and equitable inclusion of the Southeast zone. Reacting to this, the IPOP leader through his lawyer, Barrister Ifanye Jofo, commended the House for the move they have taken so far. According to Ejofo, Kano made a commendation on Monday when his legal team visited him at the Department of State Service DSS custody in Abuja. The IPOP leader's lawyer said, commend the efforts of Ezibu Muchineke once again, including the groups who are calling on the federal government to obey the judgments of her own court and release him unconditionally or better still prevail on the Supreme Court of Nigeria to set down the appeal for hearing so that these shenanigans will cease. Also, Onyendu applauded the courage of the House of Representatives Committee in directing the Fulani government to release him unconditionally in line with the judgment of the Court of Appeal. The, he appreciated the chairman of the House of Reps Ad Hoc Committee on security, Honorable Obinna Agoja, for being outspoken in this regard. It is embarrassing that the DSS have become a propaganda arm of federal government, federal uh, news agency of Nigeria vows to protest. The National Association of Nigerian Students has uh, tackled the Department of State Service DSS over the statement that some politicians were mobilizing students leaders for violent protests against the federal government. Nigerian News report that Student Solidarity Group against fee hike had last week revealed it will protest against the fee hike at the University of Lagos on Wednesday, September 6, 9, uh, 2023. Record that the Unilag management in July of 2023 increased fees from 19,000 to 190,000 for students studying, studying medicine while for courses that require laboratory and the studio, the students were to pay 140,000 naira, 250 naira, citing prevailing economic realities as a reason for the hike. However, the DSS postperson Peter Fonanya in a statement on Monday said, intelligence reports have indicated that the plotters include certain politicians who are desperately mobilizing unsuspecting student leaders, ethnic based associations, youth and disgruntled groups for the planned actions. Reacting to the DSA statement, the National Public Relations Officer of NANS, Giwa Temitope, warned the security agency not to data students from exercising their rights to protest, saying this is universally recognized human rights. He was said the student body will be storming Unilag for the protest, saying it is embarrassing that the DSS had become the propaganda arm of the federal government. Nance added the failure of the Unilag management to honor the agreement reached at the meeting with the student leaders on August 2 forced the student body to fix a date 
of action at the university and the protest we hold till the management reverse the hike. He said it is quite embarrassing that the DSS has derailed to become the propaganda arm of the Fulani government, thereby raising false alarms and even interfering in affairs that do not in any way relate to their line of actions. As, as, as an association, we maintain that we are not satisfied with how the Nigerian society is being run, most especially as regards arbitrary fee increment across our tertiary institutions with the University of Lagos being a model. Students are therefore enjoined to come out in mass and join the protest for the immediate reversal of the fee at the University of Lagos. NSCDC arrest five for diverting, adulterizing, or adulterating federal government intervention fertilizers. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps has confirmed the arrest of a syndicate of five for allegedly diverting and uh, adulterating chemical pr uh, products meant to be used by the federal government to produce subsided fertilizers for farmers. Okuta News understand that the syndicate were apprehended by the Special Intelligence Squad of the Command Commandant General of uh, NSCDC. In a statement made available to journalists on Tuesday, the spokesman of the NSCDC, Afolabi Babawale, said the suspects arrested were specialized in the diversion of uh, granular ammonium sulfate, the key raw material in the production of fertilizers. He noted that uh, the diverted products are properly uh, okay property of the fertilizer producers and suppliers association of Nigeria, but we are diverted, bagged and sold by the saboteurs to buyers and farmers at a rate of twenty five thousand nine hundred naira pay back. On the 2nd of September 2023, at about 17.20 hours, the Commandant General's Special Intelligence Squad, acting on a credible intelligence, busted two separate locations, number 3, Dogon Duse area, Jos, North, and Kasua, Kas, uh, Kara area, Bukuru, all in Jos Plateau State, and succeeded in recovering a large quantity of diverted bags of uh, granular ammonium sulfate, that is gas. According to the news, the products were meant to be used for the production of fertilizers and to be sold at a subsided, uh, subsi okay, subsidized rate to the farmers in the federal uh, government's bid to sustain the national food security program and encourage food production in the country. Babawale narrated. He explained further that the five suspects were arrested from the two separate locations. Many bags of different fertilizer products were recovered. The arrested suspects are Ibrahim Mohammed, 63, Laden Anas, 26, Omar Saidi Mohammed, 37, Hambale Usman, 46, and Janidi Ubale, 30. Among the exhibited, they recovered are 740 bags of granola ammonium sulfate gas, 24 bags of urea dangote fertilizers. 65 bags of Indorama fertilizers and 130 bags of NPK Barbados fertilizers, fertilizers, 29 cartons of ultra cold chemical, 109 20 liters of a cap sack of spraying pump, among other items. Okute News learned that the Commandant General of the NSCDC, Dr. Ahmed Abubakar Awudi, has been duly briefed on the development and has since ordered the immediate transfer of the five suspects and the case file to the national headquarters of the NSCDC while further investigation is ongoing. Tragedy struck as a hunter mistakenly shot himself by himself all for himself in the Embayasa state. A civil servant and a part-time hunter has mistakenly shot himself dead in Bayosa stage. Okuta News learned that the tragic incident 
that has left the deceased family members and neighbors in mourning happened in the Oloibiri community in Oboya local government area of Bayosa stage. It was gathered that the deceased, Claudi Tonwurio, shot himself dead with a then gun hanging on his neck while trying to transfer his harvested farm product with his canoe to the upland. What a tragedy. Tonwurio, a father of six, was said to have killed himself on August 26 while he was preparing to enjoy the weekend with his family. A family source who spoke to Daily Trust confirmed the incident had left pain and sorrow to the entire family having lost a loved one in such a manner. According to him, the bullet from the gun exploded and shattered the head of the deceased. The whole community is still in shock at his death. He is a civil servant, but most weekends he comes to the village to stay with his family and this Saturday was one of the such. He left the family to the farm with his tools and hunter gun to also hunt animals. He usually goes in a canoe where he keeps what he harvests. On Saturday, August 26, he went on his normal hunting while his family was waiting for his return. He actually came back and was trying to bring in the farm products. Then we heard a loud sound, but we didn't respect, suspect someone had gone wrong or something has gone wrong. But by the time people went outside, they discovered he was lying in the mud, bleeding and struggling for survival. The relative told journalists, what a painful exist. He narrated that all attempts to rush to Moria to the hospital was not productive as he died on the way. The corpse was later taken to the waterside for rituals as the custom demands. He must have slipped and fell on the gun, which was a loaded already exploded. It is a sad incident for the family who will take care of the six children he left behind, she added. And last but not the least, our protest against Jonathan subsidy removal in 2012 was politics, according to Fire Me, and you have mind to tell us to talk about it. Now God and Ugu and Amadioha and the gods of our land will never forgive all of you. The former governor of Ekiti State, Ekiti State, Kayode Fire Me, on Tuesday revealed that the protest against first subsidy removal during the administration of uh, ex-president Gulag Jonathan in 2012 was all politics. Look at where we are today. Fire me revealed this while delivering an address as a national dialogue at a national dialogue organized to celebrate the 60th birthday celebration of the founding national secretary of Alliance for Democracy and fellow Abuja School of Social and Political Thoughts. Professor Udenta Udenta in Abuja. The program was attended by Jonathan, former Minister of Education, Dr. Obiese Kwesili, former Minister of Aviation, Osita Jidoka, and among other dignitaries. Good luck in 2012 as announced the removal of a fuel subsidy and adjusted the fuel pump price, uh, price of petrol from 65 naira liter to 100, 141 naira. The decision led to protest why the price was later readjusted to 97 after more than a week of protest. Speaking at the event, Fire Me said, Today, I read the former uh, President Olusegun Obasanjo's interview in the cable saying, Our liberal democracy is not working and we need to revisit it and I agree with him. We must move from the political alternatives. I think. We are almost on a dead end of that. And the, and the God will never forgive you for saying that statement. What we need is alternative politics uh, and my own motion, I mean notion of alternative politics is that you can't have 35% of the vote and take 100%. It won't work. We must look at the proportional represent representation so that the party that is said to have won 21% of the votes, we have 21% of the government. Adversary politics brings division and enmity. 
all political parties in the country agreed and they even put in their manifesto that subsidy must be removed. We all said the subsidy must be removed, but we in the ACN at the time in 2012, we know the truth, sir, but it is all politics. Playing politics with the lives of Nigerians and you still have the mind to, tell, to say it. Your children will never see anything good. All the money you people are stocking can never be used for anything meaningful. That is why we must ensure that everybody is a crucial stakeholder by stopping all this. Let the manifesto of PDP, APC and Labour Party be put on the table and select all those who will pilot the program from all parties. Anyway, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, now here, I go take leave on her. Back when I do what? Back when I see how this evil-minded people, how he's come out now to confess about what happened 11 years ago. Now is the time of truth. And you said, as you say it out, that the gods of the land will forgive you. It can never. All you who, who protested 2012, that first of, first of, uh, uh, first of the can never be removed. Till today, and you people are still alive, enjoying that same immunity. Google punish all of honor. And you people will never go scot free from it. This one is not calling any god. No. The gods of our land will arose and make this land uncomfortable for all of you, including the so called president. My wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers, do me a favor, please. Share this message. Like, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for better and interesting videos as we move on. Have a nice day. And may the God Almighty bless you this day as you do this. And as you share, as you are also listening and as you contribute to the growth of this channel, may the God reward you according to the desires of your heart. Bye for now, my people. Kenesiano.